Well, this just had to be documented. Basically, what I was doing was I was just getting bored doing some work on the engine, just cleaning it up. I just bought this boat from my buddy. It's only got like 150 hours. It's a Volvo Penta 3.0, year 2001, on a Stingray 18 foot 180 LS. LX, excuse me. Um, basically what I was doing was I was changing out the belt tent. I wanted to change the belt tensioner because that piece where you stick your 3 8 ratchet in to get your belt tension tight was broken off. The paint was all coming off. I just, I got an, I got one on eBay for like 70 bucks. See, you know, it's, it was, that's where it was when I, when it was on the engine with the belt. It never lined up fully. So this, this belt was right there was gone even though I thought it was a new belt um, so I was changing this out and what I saw and then I was taking the rust I took the rust off the alternator there was a lot on the pulley so I, I cleaned it all up greased it I'm gonna paint it same down here with the power steering pump pulley and then here with the idle idler pulley, I just completely took it off here. And then there's a bolt in the back, cleaned it off, lubed it up because it was making a sound. Now it's quiet. But here's the thing. Then I decided to change the um, impeller because I've never done that before. They, and then I read that people do. You should do that on a, a brand new. Or when you get a used boat that's new to you, you know, you should change the impeller. should be one of the first things you've done. I've already done the spark plugs, oil, drive oil, um, you know, PCV, PCV valve. Um, I've um, ran sea foam through it, done the power steering uh, fluid. I mean, I've done... The only thing I haven't done was my... Bu th this is the thing my buddy put on, this micro guard. I'm going to go back to OEM, but I'm just running it now because it's clean. Okay, but anyways, so I took out the impeller off the pump, off the raw water pump, and bam, look what you find. That's what my worst nightmare was, was a broken, broken um, blade. This one's just really crap. So, I got worried, did some reading. A lot of people say that it will just come out on its own. I don't buy that shit. Um, so I started ripping, I started looking around, and I ripped this hose off. Coming, to, this is the lower hose. This is water in to the pump from the lake or whatever, I believe. And this is water that's going to come to cool your block and everything. So I followed this up. Bam, bam, you ready? Disconnected the hose. And bam, there's the blade completely blocking. It, I can't even get it back in to where it was jammed in there. It was even more than that. Completely blocking flow, at least 50% of your flow in all this rust. So I'm going to clean all this up, repaint it, put back everything to normal, see if there's any kind of cooling flush you can do to get some of the rust out on these engines. I'm not sure. I don't know. They're just regular water engines. All right, that's it. Always check up in here. Replace your impellers. All right.